Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the A.T. Fox Tea Talk Water Cream. So I am filming outside in my house in Gisborne which is why there is a dog wandering around in the background chasing things. I think he's chasing birds. It's very cute but also really distracting. <laughs> And this cream was sent to me for review by Tester Korea. It is part of their Beauty Tester program in which a bunch of creators have been selected to just try out uh, like the same four products. So if you see a bunch of other people reviewing the same products, they're in the same thing as what I am. We are not paid to create this content, but we were only given seven days after receiving the package to create the content. So of course, I don't think it's reasonable to have a review of a cream that is thorough and exact after only seven days of using the product. So think of this more as a first impression and thoughts on the cream because I can't not post it in seven days, but also I don't think that I can provide accurate review in seven days. There are other products I'm doing as well, which are okay. But for me personally, I just don't think that a skincare product, you can't do it justice from getting it on day one and posting the review on day seven. That only really gives me like four or five days to actually test the product. You really can't tell any difference in your skin in that point in time. So, you know, take it as what you will. So the product description says, moisture cream and sleeping mask, filling with moisture and controlling sebum, moisture balance and poor treatment. So the packaging of this cream is really lovely. It comes in a nice sturdy plastic jar with a screw top and does come with a spatula. The water cream itself has a very thin gel-like texture and it has a really nice sweet smell, but I'm not really sure what it is. I do really like the smell though. Because of the thick gel-like texture, it is very easy to spread out and it does absorb moderately quickly. It does leave a little bit of a sticky finish to start with though. So I'm gonna use my spatula to take just a little amount out, around about like that much. And I can pretty much just pat it into my skin like this because it's so thin. It's very easy to distribute, although I just got like heaps of it on my eyelid just then. <laughs> so it's a very pleasant cream to use because you don't really need very much pressure on the skin. So I can just sort of like massage it in using my fingertips and the palms of my hands. I then usually wait two to three minutes for it to dry down completely before moving on to my next step. The cream itself does leave my skin feeling moisturized. But even though the sun is starting to creep onto my skin and distort the exposure, I'm sorry, you cannot really see a difference on my skin because it is really lightweight. It leaves my skin feeling a little bit more moisturized and it's a really good cream for me to use during the day. But if you have dry or mature skin or if you're planning on using this at night as a sleeping cream, it's probably not a cream that I would personally recommend because I just do not think that it is thick enough. You wanna come up? Oh, jeez, the claws. Jump up that way. Hello. My cat has decided to join me. Hello. Pulling my knee in the process. Because this cream has that watery gel-like consistency, it's not extremely moisturizing and you can layer it up in a couple of layers, but I do not really find that it makes that much of a difference to my skin personally. So this water cream is really lovely for my skin in the mornings or I think for people who have oily skin or just want a really really light gel like cream texture. I can't unfortunately comment on any of the sebum controlling abilities because that is something that it would need time to work at. You just cannot tell if this is going to be controlling your sebum within five days of trying it. You just can't. I can comment on the moisture in my skin. I feel like this lightly moisturizes my skin, which is great for me during the day or when it's warm weather. So this is something that I'm going to get a lot of use out of in summer. However, it is not a sleeping pack for me. It's just not moisturizing enough by far. So if you have uh, dry or mature skin, because I did try this on my mum as well while she was here, she didn't like it at all. <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend it for dry or mature skin. She has dry and mature skin, so she had a double double negative for this one. However, she did comment that it made her face feel a little bit sticky, but it smelled really great. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed testing out this cream. Thank you so much to Tester Korea for sending this for review. In future, I do wish that you would give me more than seven days to promote your products because there really isn't much that I can say about a skincare product when I only have five days to test it, and I'm sure you guys watching understand that as well. <laughs> We're just keeping it honest because that is what we do here. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.